it's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to start treating social media like my second life. Like it's a whole another life in itself because I have so many talents and uh, I have so many talents and I just don't be knowing what to do with them. Like I be having plans for what I wanna do, how I wanna get stuff done. But then I write it down or, or I make a mental note of it, which is bad because your memory is all over the place. If you make a mental note of something, then it's just a thought. And you can forget it easily. But I do stuff like that and then I'd be like, okay, well, this is what I need to do to create more content to get to where I need to be in life. I just need to do this in order to get here. I just need to do this in order to get here. But lately, I feel like I've been spending too much time talking about it and not just jumping into it. And I stayed up late last night watching tutorials on how to like configure my camera in a way where I can get like the perfect angles, the perfect shots that I need. Some of you already know that I don't go to MATC no more. What I'm passionate about doesn't doesn't require knowledge. What I'm passionate about requires consistency. It requires hard work, not a diploma, technically. An influencer, a content creator. I'm not sure if I can get a master's degree in influencing or content creating, but a lot of people think that college is the only way the main path to get you where you gotta go. And I mean, it is for some, it is for some. I'm not down in college because college is really good, but it's not a necessity in order to get rich. My inspirations for jumping out of the bed this morning and getting right to it. It's this, uh, this YouTuber I found on TikTok. He posted something on TikTok and I feel like, I feel like what I'm, how I'm talking about him right now is how people are gonna be talking about me when I start posting. I was literally like, you, you, y'all don't understand the 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 weight of all this right now. But I've been through so many levels of eye-opening, enlightening, reawakening moments since being in college and living on my own and doing what I like to do. I I just got a different a different drive, a different um a different reason to keep going. The inspiration stuff that happened last night, right? I just had a, a, an epiphany, you know? At night is the time where everybody feel like, okay, tomorrow I gotta get up and get to it. Like, starting today, I gotta get up and get to it. No, start right now. I think on YouTube, his name is I L U V. I love Mari or something, or, or we love, or they love, or something Mari. And his vlogs look like movies and that's so beautiful to me like i i've been trying to perfect the the film clarity and all that when it comes to my content so when i seen his i was like dude this is exactly what i want to do like this is this is my realm right here like i need to go to his page i want this page he uses a Sony camera. I use a Canon. So that don't matter. You know, Sony and Canon, they're two different, you know, brands. But when it comes to putting my content out there and getting the, the quality that I want, that don't matter. So all I seen was he had a camera and a phone. So I'm like, I got a camera and a phone. I'm going to get into it. I'm just going to start dropping. I'm just going to start dropping. And y'all ain't going to believe me until y'all see it because I say this every single video. When I was doing my gaming videos, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be uploading, duh, 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 upload every single day. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Content, content. I wasn't motivated enough. I met the right people to fully say this time that now is grind time. Now is grind time. My birthday just recently passed. I didn't post my birthday blog that I said I was gonna post. I wasn't in the mindset until I got back here. And fun fact for you, a habit is formed in 26 to 
to 30 some days, so about a month. You form a solid habit in a month. Repetition, consistency, doing something every single day. I mean, every single day, like day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Doing the same thing every single day will solidly form your habit so there's no way that you can break that unless you you know unless you're lazy and you give up but when i found that out i made it a challenge to reach my dreams in two months in two months starting right now as i'm recording this video which i'm going to try to have it edited and uploaded by tomorrow because what's tomorrow sunday yeah the start of the week yeah so if this video not out on Sunday, I'm not even gonna say or Monday, cause usually I try to like give myself a little leeway just in case I don't edit. No, I'm gonna make it mandatory that I edit this video tonight. It's out on Sunday. Hey, future Kenji here. So um, that didn't happen. Before I started editing, this video was like 60 minutes long. So cut me a break, y'all. I'm still grinding. We still staying consistent. Didn't give it till Sunday, but give it till Monday. <laughs> simple you gotta force yourself to do stuff that you don't want to do my alarm went off at five o'clock this morning the five o'clock alarm went off i ignored it 5 15 5 30 5 45 all those alarms went off i skipped it six o'clock alarm went off i looked at it and like once my consciousness re-entered my body and my soul connected with my eyes and i looked at the phone and i was like wow i passed all the five alarms I'm going to wake up right now. Like, I'm going to get up right now because the stuff that I was thinking about last night and yesterday, I'm not going to be able to get it done if I don't get up right now. And I was tired because I went to sleep at like 2 o'clock in the morning doing research, trying to get into my dream, trying to really dig, dive deeper into it and realize like what I really love to do, what, where I want to be in life and why I'm right here. It's not that I don't like it, but it's not where I want to be. I know where I want to be. I want to be financially free. And in order to get there, I got to get to it. You feel me? You feel me? I was at MATC for a few months, I want to say almost a year. And then I moved out yesterday. And today's the first day that I'm back at my mom's house in my old room. And I love it. I love the environment, how my room was before I left it and coming back to it just really put me back in the mindset to get to it because this is the same room that I was shooting all my vlogs in. This is the same room that I have my, y'all see that over there? Right there, that black thing right there? That is my, my, my little studio, my studio corner where I record my music and it's that little booth that block out the sound and stuff. That inspired me. I got my uh, photo shoot room on the other side of me. It's like I just needed to be in this environment. And I thought that I needed my own space in order to really get down to it because that was the goal. Well, no, I want to say the goal was finishing my classes when I got to college. But when I realized that that wasn't for me, I kind of got lost. And I was like, okay, well, what am I doing now? I'm just going to live my life. I'm just going to have fun. And that's all I did for months. And that was horrible. I regret all the time that I wasted not chasing my dream, not going after my goals. I'm too excited, y'all. I'm too excited to get this money. I'm passionate about what I do, and I don't feel like I have enough people in my corner that's just as passionate as me. Like, I will always have my mom. I will always have my mom, and that's what I love. My mom and my, my grandparents want me to go to college and get my degree. And I will. After I get it, I got a game plan, and and I just hope I can stay focused long enough to start actually seeing progress, so they can know how serious I am and how I'm gonna get us there. You know, today. I didn't necessarily have these events lined up already planned for y'all, but I'm going to make the plans today opportunities. And every day is an opportunity, so I got to make every day opportunities. 
Okay. I don't know what's happening here. I tried to go for smoky eye. I don't got the thing on right now. I tried to go for smoky eye. It's a little messy, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, with the glasses off, like, perfect. Girl, yes. Hold on, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna really show you. Okay, our eyes giving smoky. Are they giving smoky? Okay, so that was a slight filter. This is a slight filter as well, but this gives more natural me. You know, y'all seen the other one gave a little bone structure, but this is, yeah, I like it. Their man should love his wife as Christ loved the church.